Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series on applets. In this video, I am going to discuss about this HTML applet tag. HTML applet tag. In almost every program, in almost every applet program, we used to write this HTML applet tag. Now we will see the syntax for this applet tag. And this applet tag has so many attributes. Among all these attributes, three are compulsory attributes. See here, code is the first compulsory attribute. Second one is width and another one is height. So these three are compulsory attributes and remaining attributes are optional. And for the end examination point of view, there is a chance of asking this question for two marks. Write the syntax of applet tag. Okay. So let's see all the attributes one by one. First one is code base. Second one is code. Next one is alternate. Next one is name. Next one is width, height, align, V space, H space, and list of parameters. And the last one is HTML. These are all the different types of attributes. As I told you, three are compulsory. What are they? Code width and height. Now let's discuss each and every attribute one by one. The first one is code base. See here, what is this code base? Code base is an optional attribute and that specifies the base URL of the applet code. So basically here we have to specify the URL where your applet executable class file is present. Okay. So you can also say like this is a URL or directory path, directory path. What is the general uh, term that we use for directory folder, right? In Windows, we'll call it as a folder. And what is the next one? Next one is code. See here, code is a compulsory or a required attribute that gives the name of the file containing your applets compiled dot class file. So what is the meaning of this? Let me tell you. See here, I am showing a very simple applet program. So here, this is your applet tag, right? This is your applet tag and this is your class, right? And whenever you save this program, so you are going to save this program with the name status window dot Java, right? Status window dot Java. And when you compile this, what you get is status window dot class file right status window dot class file so this dot class file you have to give as input to this applet tag so here code is equal to whatever you wrote here status window it is nothing but status window dot class file here dot class is optional dot class is optional and the next one is uh, alternate so it is also an optional attribute which is used to specify a short text message that should be displayed if the browser recognizes the applet tag but can't run java applets as i told you earlier applets can be executed on browsers also right so whenever browser could not able to run your java applets in that case whatever the text you are specifying here that text will be displayed right and the next one is uh, name so next attribute is name see here name is an optional attribute used to specify a name for the applet instance okay so it is used to give names to the applet instances what is the use of giving the names that is the second point applets must be named in order for other applets on the same page to find them by their names and can able to communicate with them okay so if on the same page if you are running two applets right if you can able to give names for these applets then these two can able to communicate okay so what is the next one width and height so width and height both are required attributes that give the size of the applet display area that means so if this is your applet window 
so this is going to be the width and this is going to be the height so these two are compulsory attributes definitely you have to provide value for this so for example i am showing here so width is equal to 300 so here 300 pixels and height is equal to 50 so here the height is 50 pixels okay and the next one is alignment attribute so everybody know about the alignment right so left justified right justified center bottom top okay so it is an optional attribute that specifies the alignment of the applet okay so what are the possible values left right top bottom middle baseline text top next absolute middle and absolute bottom so these are all the possible values and remember if this question is asked for 5 or 10 marks then you have to write all these points otherwise if it is asked for only 2 marks write only this uh, syntax of the applet tag okay and the next one is uh, v space and h space v space and h space so come this side these attributes are also optional v space specifies the space in pixels above and below the applet and h space specify the space in pixels on each side of the applet for example if this is your monitor or if this is your output screen now i want to display my applet window here right at this point now this is the v space and this is the h space that means for example if you give the v space value as 50 pixels so here leaving 50 pixels right from here the your applet window will be displayed and the bottom also 50 pixels will be there and if you give here head space as 100 then so the left of this will be having 100 pixels and right of this applet window you'll be having the 100 pixels right and next one is very important one parameters okay parameters and value so the parameter tag allows you to specify the applet specific arguments in an html page so applets access their attributes with the get parameter method so the applets also you know will receive the parameters right it is going to receive the parameters so i am going to discuss more about this parameters in the next video because it is very very important it at least requires a 10 minutes of time to discuss about this uh, parameters and the last one is html so html means suppose if suppose if uh, in your system java was not installed and if you try to run the applets then whatever the message you have given here that message will be displayed for the user okay so this is the applet tag and different types of attributes and their information so remember if this is asked for two marks write only the syntax of the applet tag and if it is asked for five or ten marks then we have to write at least one point about each and every attribute okay